Hey everyone, this is Warren here. Today we're going to be addressing one of the comments we got on YouTube. So one of our friends commented on one of the previous videos uh, the following. So the comment was from FK Improvements. It was when starting my router the first time, I just didn't bother using 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Just combined them. And now I've realized my camera needs 2.4 gigahertz wireless to connect how can I reset to come back to the previous options using 2.4. So with regards to this one, this is a common issue. It does happen on the, um, the newer Huawei routers. We are specifically going to be logging into the Huawei B315 to see where to find the setting to split these two frequencies up. So generally what happens is these routers actually display both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz network as one name with the intent that it's it's going to be a lot smoother with regards to transitioning between the two networks um, but it often causes issue like the issue that our friend is experiencing so um, what we're going to do is we're just going to log into the router now before we actually log into the router i do have to advise in order to get to this section you firstly need to be connected to the router either via the wireless network or you need to be connected via LAN cable or Ethernet cable. Um, if you're connected on either of those platforms, you'll be fine. Then also you need to find the default IP or the IP address that is normally displayed on the back of your router. So there's a sticker on your back of, on the back of your router with the default IP. Find out what that is, pop it into a browser like I did on Chromia, and then you should be able to log in. Let's log in. Okay, so now logged in on this page, we're going to go straight to the setting we are talking about. So we're going to Wi-Fi settings and here we find the option where it's currently set to 5 gigahertz preferred. Now, currently the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz signals are combined and displayed as one. So yes, this does, the, the intent for this was to have a smooth transition between 2.4 and 5 and also to be able to access this, the faster speeds of the 5 gigahertz network when you're in the vicinity of the 5 gigahertz network. Some devices can't support that, so connecting to the Wi-Fi network is sometimes a bit hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, split those two up. So we're going to uncheck that option. It's going to give you a confirm block. We hit confirm. Once that's confirmed, configuration complete, Wi-Fi system essentially re restarts. So now we see that we've got both 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz networks or 5G and 2.4G network. And we see the new name that's created. It is essentially the same name as the 2.4 gigahertz just with 5G attached to that. The password is going to be the same as the password you would have for 2.4 gigahertz. If you're not sure what that password is, go ahead and click on that little eye icon. And I'm not going to do that right now, just in case you're going to be jumping onto my Wi-Fi. Okay, so once we've made these changes, if you do want to, you can change that Wi-Fi network name entirely. It is totally up to you. I've chosen in my instance to leave it as such, and we're going to click on save. Now, the Wi-Fi system does do a bit of a restart, but uh, we should be good with regards to um, finding the, the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz network now. So in this instance, now what's going to happen is it's going to be pushed or displayed as two different networks, two different frequencies, and you should now be able to comfortably connect your devices that need to access the 2.4 gigahertz network. You can comfortably connect your devices to that Wi-Fi network. I hope that answers the question. I'm going to be looking into doing a lot more things like this where we specifically answer questions that you'd like to have answered um, so that you see exactly where to go to get this thing saved. That's it from me for today. Thanks so much for sticking it out to this part of the video. Um, if this was informative at all, leave a, a like and please do subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more video content in the future. Thanks so much. Cheers. Bye-bye.